The problem is Mayor Nahid Nenshi is still giving them the money. They're just pushing it back a summer. Nenshi is still 100% behind this project, behind giving Black Lives Matter four different locations in the city of Calgary to deface and sour with their radical extremist propaganda. We're still going to put a stop to it. And this petition is still going to get delivered to Nahid Nenshi to let him know that at a time like this, during an economic crisis, while unemployment is at the highest it has ever been in the last few decades, well, we are going to make sure that this money doesn't go to Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter was hours away from destroying a beautiful masterpiece in downtown Calgary, giving wings to the dream, it's called, and it has been a part of the Calgary cityscape for over 25 years. Black Lives Matter, well, they hate beautiful things, and they hate everything about our society. They want to destroy it. Mayor Nahid Nenshi, well, he's exactly the same, and that's why he teamed up with Pink Flamingo, a surrogate for Black Lives Matter, giving them $120,000 to destroy this piece of artwork and to cover it up with radical extremist Black Lives Matter propaganda, and also to add three more installations somewhere throughout the city. Now, the good news today is they're backtracking. Pink Flamingo actually conceded. They say that the city isn't ready for their radical brand of activism, and guess what? I agree. Listen to this. Pink Flamingo will be postponing our mural project to summer 2021 due to the violent vitriol racism and threats we've received in the last 36 hours. The artist is free to change their mind or express themselves as they see fit, and we must adapt to this because of the power dynamic. It's not in our favor for a variety of reasons. Cry me a river. Our vision for this wall is one of hope, evolutionizing this message by hearing it from the perspective of a racialized artist. Well, I'm, I'm not sure what evolutionizing means, but I'm also not sure what you mean by a racialized artist. See, the whole shtick for this was that it was going to be a QT BIPOC person painting this, whatever that means. I don't like getting into their crazy jargon. But the point here is that the artist was as white as they come. Katie Green is her name, and check out some of her artwork for yourself. And I use the term art generously. Now, in case you weren't totally sold on how white this person actually is, Watch how she dances. This whole project encapsulates Black Lives Matter so perfectly. They wanted to destroy, and they still do, they want to destroy the beautiful things about our society. They wanted to turn this into this. Well, Calgarians aren't having it, and I guess they heard the message. Over 3,000 people signed our petition in just a few hours, and thank you so much for doing it. But the problem is Mayor Nahid Nenshi is still giving them the money. They're just pushing it back a summer. Nenshi is still 100% behind this project, behind giving Black Lives Matter four different locations in the city of Calgary to deface and sour with their radical extremist propaganda. We're still going to put a stop to it, and this petition is still going to get delivered to Nahid Nenshi to let him know that at a time like this, during an economic crisis while unemployment is at the highest it has ever been in the last few decades, well, we are going to make sure that this money doesn't go to Black Lives Matter. You can sign that petition at savethemural.com. Hey, did you notice that over the course of this global pandemic, governments have been using the crisis to seize more and more power to oppress the people? Well, you can get a shirt just like this that sort of sums that whole message up by going to rebelnews.com slash store.